Hi guys, welcome back. This is Bry at Jukeblaster.com and today uh, we're going to have a short tutorial. We're going to be making um, a serial data lead for CC Talk coin acceptors. And this is the acceptor I've chosen today. It's uh, from Money Controls and it takes all denominations of coins. This is a proper commercially available uh, coin acceptor. There's the uh, serial connector on the back. It's a four pin uh, connector and what I've done, I've printed off uh, a diagram of the connector and I strongly suggest that you do this as well. You print off the diagram of your connector before you start because you don't want to make any mis wiring mistakes because it could be a costly mistake. You blow up your coin acceptor or something crazy like that. And if you look at this diagram you can see there's 12 volts there, ground there and data there. The NC not connected. So there's really only three wires going into this serial interface. So that makes it easy for us to build a cable. So what I've got is one of these uh, USB to serial cables. I bought this one on eBay, you can buy these on eBay now for around £3. They're cheap as chips, they're for nothing and that's where I got mine from eBay UK. Um, they sell these all over the world so you've got to get one of these. The only thing I've done to this cable uh, off camera is I've cut, cut the ends off. The, the ends look like this with little connectors on and I've cut those off and bared the wires just to make it quicker for you to see. I've left the red one as it is because that's 5 volts and we'll not be using the red one uh, from the serial cable. So let's look at what else we need. Uh, we need a connector uh, to give power to your coin acceptor. Um, this one will plug into your uh, PC's power supply. I bought this connect connector again on eBay. It was about 50 pence. Um, it's really for nothing. I bought this connector and just attached two wires. And these wires are the same colours that come out of your PC power supply. Yellow, which is 12 volts, and black, which is ground or uh, negative, whichever way you want to express it. Um, I've also got a connector that will actually fit into my uh, coin acceptor's serial um, serial connector. That goes that goes in there like that. And again, I've just bared the ends. Um, so these wires uh, going to the acceptor are not standard colours. They don't have black and red for power or anything like that. So that's why that's why I've got this diagram to guide me through this. And again, I strongly recommend you print that off when you're making your cable. Okay, so let's let's get started. I'm going to connect everything up with this. Um, screw terminal block. I'm sure you've all seen these. So all I'm going to need is a little screwdriver to tighten those terminals down. So first we'll start with the ground or negative. So firstly on your USB serial cable you've got a black coming out of it uh, which is the ground or negative wire. And also the power that comes from your PC's power supply has got a black ground. So I'm just going to twist those together. I'm just going to twist the grounds together. And put those into the connector block. I'll put it in one end of the connector block. And tighten that down. Now, the next step is on the plug that goes to your PC power supply you've got the yellow coming out which is 12 volts positive and that will go to your coin acceptor. Let's put that in the other end of the block like so and tighten it down. 
Okay, the only connector left now is for the data that goes in and out of your coin acceptor. Now, these coin acceptors only have one data line. So, on your serial cable, your USB serial cable, you'll have two wires. You'll have a transmit data and a receive data. All we do with those is connect them both together. They're always connected together. Because you can't accept to transmits and receives on the same line. So it's easy just to put that in the centre connector there. Those two wires go together and we'll just tighten that down. Okay, so what we've got now is your USB cable and your power cable connected into the plug block. The other side is to go to your coin acceptor uh, plug. So looking carefully at our diagram, I can see that the 12 volts, plus 12 volts on this wire on this cable is brown so I'm just going to put that into the plus 12 volts connector like so and tighten that down and I can see that the ground or negative wire on this connector is green so I'm just going to put that in the other end like so because we've got the ground here just connect that tighten that down and finally the only one left is data where you've got both your transmit and receive from your serial cable that goes into the center one like so okay that's the cable completed so this end goes into your coin acceptor. Okay. And at the other end, that goes into your PC's power supply. And that one, USB, goes into your... So these two go into your PC. I'll just show you that connector again. Remember that we don't use the 5 volts from the USB cable. We don't use that 5 volts because we're using 12 volts from the PC's power supply for your coin acceptor. Okay, that's it. Simple as that. Okay, so it's time to test our lead now that we've made and I'm just going to plug that into a coin acceptor. Uh, but before I do, I'm just going to show you the software that we're using here. Um, this is CoinKit CC Talk software, and you can find that at jukeblaster.com. You can download that right now and give it a try. Um, so you can see on this little screen on the software, it's looking, it's constantly looking for a coin acceptor but not finding one. So we've got our coin acceptor here, and we're going to just connect that up now, put the lead in there, and you should see there soon. There you go, success, current acceptor is ready. Um, so all that's left to do is just fire some coins through that. Uh, put some coins through. That's a pound, and as you can see there, maybe on the screen, that's registered. And a two pound coin, and a 20 pence, 20p coin. So all in all, a pretty successful test. Um, unplug that now, we're finished. And now it's looking for a coin acceptor again. All in all, a pretty successful test I think. And thanks for watching.